Hello everyone, this is Eleni and I will be presenting Roy's adaptation model. The adaptation model was formed by Sister Callista Roy. She was born in Los Angeles in 1939. She worked as a nurse at hospitals in Arizona and Idaho before she joined Mount St. Mary's College in 1996 and served as department chair. While working at St. Mary's, this is where she developed her adaptation model. She also helped create master's program in nursing at the University of Portland. She served on the board of International Network of Doctoral Education, and she is a faculty senior nurse scientist at the Yvonne L. Munn Center for Nursing Research in Massachusetts General Hospital. Roy's model for adaptation focuses on three central questions. What is the focus of nursing care? What is the target for nursing care? And when is nursing care indicated? Key concepts of the model include the human being, adaptation, and nursing. For adaptation, there are four modes, the physiological, self-concept, role function, and interdependence. The physiological involves maintaining physical health, as far as homeostasis, making sure you have the enough food, water, oxygen, Self-concept involves mental health, and this also includes someone's perception of their physical health. For example, people with eating disorders and how their perception of their body affects mental health. Role function involves people's adaptation to different roles in their life. For example, a new mother and her baby, or someone who has just got a new job. Interdependence involves relationships with other people. According to Roy, nurses are to promote healthy adaptation in these four modes. Identify any maladaptation and its stimuli causing the maladaptive behavior. Nurses then must manipulate the patient's environment, practices, and stimuli to help promote better coping mechanisms and better behavior for better choices. So as you can see in this diagram, you have um, human systems and adaptation stimuli coming from an outside source and from there it affects the physio physiological self-concept role function and or interdependence in turn all of these affect coping processes which in turn affect behavior in the research article i found roy's model was used in a study in patients with anorexia nervosa there was one particular case study on a female patient who suffered from anorexia nervosa. She had major body dysmorphia. She was terrified of being fat. She said that she could tell that she was gaining weight because her stomach was protruding out, which was an obvious exaggeration. She restricted her calorie intake and exercise excessively. So nurses collaborated with her to establish goals. They had goals for calorie intake each day, um, weight gain goals, and they also helped manage neg negative emotions <clears throat> that came with eating. So every day they would weigh her and she could physically see that the amount of calories that she had each day would not make her gain weight. And in some cases it made her lose weight. They also assessed her for thoughts of suicide. They promoted social support. So they asked her to reach out to friends and family, um, let them know the situation, and in turn, they offered support. Nurses were also able to guide coping mechanisms and patient responses. Um, so you can apply this to nursing practice by identifying stimuli, assessing how it affects their physical condition, role function, self-concept, and interdependence. Also identify coping mechanisms and how it affects their, their behavior. You can also manipulate environment and help patient with more positive attitudes and better coping mechanisms. I feel that this can especially be applied to patients um, with mental health issues, not only in patients with eating disorders, but maybe even patients who struggle with alcohol abuse or substance abuse, identifying triggers that make them want to use those substances and help them um, with better coping mechanisms and in turn have better behavior and better health. So that is the end of my presentation. I hope you enjoyed and thank you.